Hey, here All we right, go. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Another Thursday night. Yes. Yeah. And we have yeah. a studio audience tonight. That's yes. Doing. They brave the weather, the elements, the cold, the snow, the black ice, the white ice, uh, you know, the Italian the, ice. They got to tape that sound, too. What sound? Yeah, they even got the applause right, too. It yeah. wasn't everybody at exactly the same time. So. Yeah. <laughs> that worked out great, and it wasn't a slow clap either. That's the worst. Yeah, well, welcome to our clap. welcome to our show, our audience. Yeah, it's nice to, to have you out here. Show. Today being Thursday, February sixth. You believe that already? February sixth. My goodness. Nine days from Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. Now. Matter of fact, the thirteenth, we're going to be doing a, uh, a a Valentine's Day schedule type of uh, show. We are. Yeah, with I want to have. Uh, you buying me flowers? I love to throw them off like that. <laughs> yes, you did. We're going to have right. uh, Les Dean. Uh, I want to say Les uh, Deegan. Oh, Les Deegan. Next week. And he sings and he's a comedian. And you know Les. You know him yeah. very well. Anyway, he's I'm on Facebook. I'm Deegan, but we'll have Les Deegan. Hello, all of our Facebook fans out there. I know uh, we've got a lot of people tuning in tonight. They, said, mm -hmm. they, they all said they were coming. That's right. Yeah. And they'll be here. Yeah. Or so they'll far. be in front of their computers. Yeah, it's nice, <laughs> that but you can work fun. and do what you want to do and look up and look at the show. Yeah, it's pretty cool. yeah. and remember the theme of our show. Don't forget why we're here. Oh, yes, the, from the old Ger uh, George Burns movie. That's right. Yeah, who's uh, now with him, I guess. But, oh, God. I hope so. Which the theme of the show was to thank God, and that's how we uh, format our show every week with that term of thank God. And we hope everybody does. Uh, I have no words of wisdom this particular week. None, huh? Or any other time, I guess. What? Not like don't eat yellow snow or anything like that? No. I figured that would have come out of you at some point. But, <laughs> you know. Oh, well, you all know Reverend Joseph Fantacchi, or a.k.a. Yeah. Reverend Joe, and I'm Reverend Dennis Gustaferi. <laughs> or, wow. Yeah. That's because I said we're going to do a very short monologue tonight so we can get some music yeah, in there right. and stuff it's like that. It's kind of like getting away with a three-minute sermon on a Sunday, right? Yes, or, or, or if you've got a time and egg or something. That's so, right. Yeah. But anyway, um, it's it's amazingly not bad out. Yesterday was supposed to be a storm, I, I, staying off the roads and all that stuff, and it was a beautiful day. So go figure. I don't know. I don't know either. So you have anything uh, that you'd like to bring up besides your lunch? Well, the uh, no, my lunch is staying where I okay. left it. Thank you. It was a very good lunch. I enjoyed every bite of it. <laughs> so, but the uh, remarkable thing now this time of year, we're literally in the middle. Of winter, and I don't get it. Why people always complain? Can you believe this weather? Well, it's winter time in the north. What do you expect? <laughs> you know, it's this is what you get, and it's literally the middle of winter. So this is when we should be getting the worst weather. And you know what? We are. And it's interesting too. Is like if you think about it, like I have this this love for Vegas. Yes. And Vegas is just the exact opposite of this. For three months out of the year, you really can't leave your house. It's so hot. Oh, I thought you were going to say they didn't love you. Everybody loves you. Uh huh. Yeah. No, that's right. Right? You're all you're out in the middle of the desert out there. What do you expect? Yeah. Things die out there. You know. Like we're dying right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're checking account for one thing. But, you know. We'll go well, out back. there next month to visit this money. Watch. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. See what else I built. I built. But anyway, getting back to New York. Um, now the flights. They've been. They're, they're, everything is working now. Everything is. Yeah. Flights are going. I look up in the air. I see airplanes all the time. I guess so. All right. So oh, now we've covered the news and the weather. Well, and actually, everybody already knew that, so we shouldn't even call this forecast. Maybe we'll call this the aftercasts. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. We'll start our own little feature. We'll call it the aftercast. Or leg cast. You know, I mean, let's face it. Like I said, Monday they said it was going to snow. Well, they were right. It snowed. Okay. Tuesday they said it was going to be nice. It was lousy. Well, they missed that one. What do you think? I think people would, it would have some credibility because it would actually be true. You know, people say, yeah, they're right. The weather was lousy on Tuesday. <laughs> Aftercast. Remember that. We'll use that next week. All right. We'll now start tracking the weather for this week and see how it turns out compared to what it was. They're forecasting the storm of storms on Sunday, and out today I heard we might get an inch if we're lucky. What happened to the 30 inches for Sunday into Monday? What happened to that? That's what I'm talking about. Oh. All right. So, so who knows what's going to happen? In other words, they don't know. If they forecast, and you get this this time of year, if you ever see a forecast of rain, sun, snow, and sleet, they're really saying they have no idea it could be anything. Plus it can change in four hours. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If you don't like the weather, just stick around. So on tonight's show, yes, we have some very good stuff going on tonight. That's right. We have you're going to sing a song. 
Yeah, I'm going to sing a song, but we have a very good comedian on yes. here tonight. Yes, John Shea is here with us tonight. Yes. Hi, everybody, John Shea. I like the stadium, or well, the stadium that was. And so now it's John City Field, as he told me before. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, um, as I told everybody on Facebook, we're going to have John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. That's right. John Roper and the Bob Knight Four is back. A little, little modification. Yes, welcoming our, our, our newest member, Rich Lana, is here tonight with us. And he'll be performing with us publicly for the first time tonight. Hopefully yeah. we won't stink. So <laughs> see what happens. All right. Well, otherwise, know, John will get very enthusiastic with us at rehearsal next Monday. Oh, yeah. I mean, you won't even wait till Monday. You'll wait till the car ride on Sunday into Jersey for that gig. And he'll get very enthusiastic with us then. Well, what do you think? You think I think uh, all the time. Therefore, I am. Remember, thank God. Let's go. That's away. right. All right. Well, I tell you what. I think it's time for me to uh, do a song. Really? What are you going to sing? I'm going to do um, an old favorite that's been remade a little bit called Moon Dance. Oh, very nice. Dance by the light of the moon. No, no, no commercial. I'm just going to going to go right to Joe. I'm going to get up and not look like I'm doing anything. Very nonchalantly, like like no one's going to see me on the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, our cameraman. Uh, he's our director. Tommy Mars, our director. He's director and owner. And, <laughs> and he's got that bemused look on his face like, <laughs> what's Dennis going to do now? <laughs> that and also Jan, uh, yeah, Janine. Janine Zarilli. Who right. is uh, working the board. And Vicky and Mealy Vicky. is in there helping out. Without these guys, we couldn't do any of this stuff. So here's where he zooms in on Reverend Joe and I zoom out. Why are they zooming we'll, in on me for? I'm not singing this one. Well, because this way, so it's nonchalantly, I get up like this. And oh, okay. It's too late they saw you. <laughs> you see, you went that way. <laughs> All righty. Are you going to go on the stage and sing? You gonna no, I'm going to do it right here. You're going to right there, huh? Right here. Right there. Right. You're going to do it right there? It's the only guy that can get a wedgie from his sport jacket, you know? In the front? <laughs> In the back. Can you start from the top for me, please? No, I, I have no idea where the heck is. <laughs> Well, I want to make love to you tonight. I 
Don't wait till the morning has come And I know how the time is just right Straight into my arms you will run And when you come my home will be waiting To make sure that you're never alone Every night all my dreams will come true dear Every night I will make you my own And every time I touch you you just Tremble inside, and I know how much you want me that you can't hide. Can I just have one more dance with you, my love? Well, can I just have one more more dance with you, my love? In the moonlight, on a magic night. Can I just have one more moon dance with you, my Lord? Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in a few minutes with our comedian, Mr. John Shea. We'll be right back after these commercial words. Don't you go away. All right. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act One Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act One will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act One Entertainment.net for a free, no obligation price quote, or call 631 758 3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral Soaps and Waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Brooklyn's best locks in the hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell Gardol. We sell Amsac. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's Best, Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. 
Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Okay, we're back. We made it again. The commercial was pretty good. After right. the weather report, we still That's made right. it back. That's right. We're still here. Hope you guys are still watching. Yep. Well, they must be if they heard you say that. True. <laughs> Deja vu. I mean, where would you think they would be if they're not watching? Hopefully, well, well maybe watching we're later. We're glad you're still with us. Put it In case you're watching it some other time. Right. Yeah. And you notice this gentleman standing here to my left, your right. And this is John Shea. He's our comedian for the evening. Welcome, John. Great yes. to be here, gentlemen, at Madhouse TV. This is going to be a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, oh, I think so. Yeah. 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 I, I looked you up on, uh, on uh, YouTube as well. You did the sports thing and all that. He's not oh, a yeah. stalker. He does that with yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I did Mike Francesa's show for the, uh, the, um, the Fantasy Phenom. Right. I made it to the oh, final this first year. Yeah. Really oh, yeah. I remember that show. Oh, yeah? Radio. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I know nothing. WFAN. Yeah. 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 I know nothing about sports, so you impressed the heck out of me. Ah. But <laughs> I, that was like a wing it job. I was going to these guys who actually went to like school for it. And I'm like, I'm like, what am I doing here in the finals? You know what I mean? And I kind of <laughs> bluffed well, was, my way all the way in. You know? That was on YouTube under, under uh, John K. Shea. So yeah, if anybody wants man, to yeah. look at it and they can catch well, it. Well, right? yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. Well, it's done okay. some things, but since then, uh, Reverend. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the only thing I, I saw. I didn't see right. it, but, but I'm sure there's plenty on there. I mean, um, what, do you, what, have you, what else have you been doing? Well, you know what? Before I get into comedy, I did pro wrestling for about 15 years. I was one of those obnoxious managers who ran around ringside. You know? Really? Oh, okay. And then uh, about uh, eight years ago, I got into comedy and been doing it ever since. I do a lot of fundraisers and clean comedy in the island and everything. So everything's good. When you say wrestling, was WWF type of Yeah, thing? that type, independence. You know what I mean? Okay. But, but the thing was, I went, uh, you know, I got as far as I went on the indies in the whole Northeast. I was like one of the best managers. But when I got my contract for the WWE, they said, well, we don't use managers anymore. And it was kind of like, you know, they said you're like a Model T. You were great in its day, but, you know, we don't revive them anymore, do we? So it's kind of like if you played baseball your whole life, and then all of a sudden you saw for the Yankees, and they're like, well, you're a shortstop? We don't use shortstops anymore. It was kind of like that. You yeah, know? Joe's used to that. <laughs> so <laughs> then I decided, well, I'm not going to keep banging my head doing this, so I, I moved to comedy, which was a nice transaction. Yeah, yeah kind of like the same thing, too, with yeah. the way they do the managers on those shows. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a ball, because you could do what you wanted, which was a lot of fun, mm -hmm. you know. So, so have, you, have you done any... Uh, uh, TV shows or anything like that, or uh, uh, on wrestling? No, oh, on, on the, as a comedy. Uh, oh uh, yeah, I've done I've done Samantha's little bit of Heaven Ministries on her TV. Oh and, really? Uh, yeah. yeah, and, and there's, there's been a, a few other spots that I just can't remember right now. But yeah. Oh, yeah. So what I've do you have coming something. up? I have on uh, February 15th, I'll be back at Samantha's in East Northport. Uh -huh. February 21st, I'll be at the All Star Bowling uh, Complex in Riverhead. And oh, in yes. March uh, the 21st, I'll be back at Samantha's. And then on the 29th, I'll be up in Syracuse at Christ the King Retreat House. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, a lot happened. You're going yeah. up there to make a retreat, or are you going to entertain? No, I got to entertain. Participants? You know, but my sister, who's also a comedian. Okay. So, yeah. It must be some kind of an extraordinary retreat. Well, well you know what? <laughs> you know what? You do what you can. You, yeah. Know? Yeah. you and your sister together, my, that must be interesting. Well, we have different, we have different <laughs> sets. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, we don't perform together. We're not Lab and Costello. You know, she does her own right. thing, and I do my own it thing. It just happens to run in the family. I See, she does a lot of stuff about my mom, and then I do a lot of stuff with my dad, but I can't get in trouble because he's been deceased for 16 oh, years. Okay. Right? So it's all right. It's safe that way. You know. <laughs> well, I tell you what. What do you say? Works for we me. Let, we'll let you do your, do your stuff. Okay. Ready? All right. Very good. Ready? All right, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands Shea. together one more time. <laughs> Mr. John Shea. Okay. okay. All right. Is this stuck in here? What? All right. Well, it's great to be here at Madhouse. So let's, let's hear it for the Moon Dance singer over here. How great was that? I heard. I heard Friday night he'll be performing at the Coral House for the Rosenberg Bar Mitzvah. So it should be great. I have had it with this winter. I'm sorry, folks. I've just had it. No more winter. I've had it. Ever since Christmas, it's been horrible because the economy has been so bad. Even that with the bad weather. Christmas. I had a great Christmas tree and I had a Christmas village. Who has the Christmas villages here? The little houses all lit up, right? 
But the economy is so bad, two houses in my Christmas village were foreclosed on. <laughs> and you know how tough it is to put the little piece of plywood on the door? It's very tough. <laughs> my son drives me crazy. He's, he's 18 years old, and he doesn't wear a winter coat. Kids this generation, if you're between the ages of 13 and 22, you do not wear winter coats. Hoodies and shorts are all these kids wear. And it doesn't matter what the temperature is, hoodies and shorts. I picked him and his friend up on the three degrees a couple of weeks ago, right? His friend got in. I said, finally, his friend Zach had finally wore a pair of blue jeans. I looked close. His legs had turned blue. And it was, his legs had turned blue. <laughs> and I said to him, I go, why don't you guys wear winter coats? He said, oh, Dad, I think our generation is a little tougher than yours. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little tougher than yours because you guys never walk anywhere. You go from the house to the car, from the mall to the car, from the car to the school. I said, when I was a kid, I had a snorkel jacket. You guys remember these, these snorkel jackets? These real heavy, ugly, pea green jackets that go down to your knees. They weighed about 30 pounds, and they had a fur collar that I think was made of dead squirrel. <laughs> and if you put up the hood, it was like you had a, a vision of like a periscope. And when your friend said something, you went, what? And when you were walking to school, you were like a, you know, like a bunch of aardvogs walking across the plains. But I, I just turned 51 recently. But you know what? The only ones who make me feel old are my kids. You know, my youngest daughter said, Dad, what year were you born? I said, 63. Uh, she went, 1963? <laughs> like there's a question there. I said, no, Kerry, 1863. I was brought home from the hospital in a covered wagon with Laura Ingalls. But, uh, you know, my, my, my youngest daughter, my, my, one of my daughters is turning sweet 16, and she said, Dad, I don't want to party. I'm like, good. I want to cruise to Alaska. <laughs> uh, excuse me, you got an uncle named Trump I don't know about? You know what I got when I turned sweet 16? A job. <laughs> she's, planning out, she's planning her colleges now, and she said, Dad, I know exactly where I want to go to school. I said, good, honey, where do you want to go? I want to go to Harvard. For the weekend? I can't afford the lunch at Harvard. I said, how about something very similar to Harvard, very close to Harvard, like Hofstra? You know, both seven letters beginning with H? Or something very close to Hofstra, like Nassau Community College? Don't laugh. Nassau's a tough school to get into. You got a tricky left off Hempstead Turnpike. <laughs> she said, great, Dad. I use that same logic in 30 years when I'm picking out your nursing home. I'll be on a box on the LIE. But I'm working hard, working hard to pay for three college educations. I play lotto every week. Do you ever get stuck behind the guy who buys lotto for like the whole office? You get stuck behind this guy? Yeah. Yeah, can I get uh, two money maker, uh, three cash tastics, four win for lifes, two money, 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 one big bucks, uh, two million dollar mania, one jumbo bucks, and a fat wallet, please. Guy spends $300, scratches off all his tickets, he wins $3. Wouldn't it be great if the lotto officials were demanded to make the games based on the odds that you have to win them. Yeah, can I get uh, one snowball's chance? Uh, two no lunch for you. Three empty pockets. Four loser, loser, loser. Uh, one hosed and fleeced. Two slim and none. One in the poor house. Uh, two don't tell my wife. And three busted. Hey, you always know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you, you ever see this guy coming out of the men's room at Penn Station? I'm late for my train! I took my young, I'll finish up with this gentleman that's been a, a ball being here. I took my youngest daughter jean shopping. She came out of, I'll just throw that there, right? I'll just make a litter about getting her down. So uh, she came out of the dress room and she's wearing these jeans and they were worn out with holes in them. It looked like the last person that wore these particular pair of jeans was hit by a bus and dragged 10 feet. I said, Carrie, I go, how much are those jeans? She said, $200. They got holes in them. How much are they without the holes? $75 cheaper. Wait, wait, wait. Some guy gets paid $75 to put holes in jeans. I want this job. I said, kid, you don't know how lucky you got it. When I was growing up back in the 70s and I got a new pair of jeans, they were so stiff I could stand them in the corner. First day of school, I'm walking around like the tin man. Hey, how you doing? Or maybe she, you got the jean jacket that went with you, then you're the mummy. Uh. But my mom would always buy me a few, few pairs of corduroys, right? So I'd be making noise. So I'd like start a fire on my way to chemistry. I'm John Shea. It's been a pleasure. Madhouse TV, thank you very much.
Thank you, How are you? Let me slide by you. Thank you. John, that Thank was you. great. Very I, nice. I can Thank relate to everything you said about the lottery and the lottery tickets. Well, there you go. And, and I, tell you, I agree that with That you. laugh of his, that's legit. That's yeah, I, he's coming he's, to my next show. Yeah, everybody yeah. keeps calling me for, for him to come oh, to the show. Oh, you got to bring him. You know? I just had another guy, Alan, called for you. Uh-huh. Alan S. Chef. chef uh, oh, yeah. I've worked with him many times. Yeah. And you have him, Les Egan, who's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, he's been here many times. Oh, you can't get rid of Les. Yeah, it's like gum less, on your shoe. Yeah, yeah, less is more or less. Yeah, less no, is more. Less is more or less. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so one more time, where are you going to be next? I will be at Samantha's Little Bit of Heaven on the 15th. That's on Lockfield, right? And on, on East Lockfield, yep. Right. And um, it's going to be a good show that night. And then on the 21st, I'll be in Riverhead at the bowling, uh, All-Star Bowling. Oh, Terrific. very good. So. Well, thank you one more Dennis, time. Right, John. Ladies and gentlemen, well, this was a ride. Thank you, guys. All right, definitely. Thank we guys. have to have thank you back you. again sometime, John. Oh, yeah, I'll be back. That was wonderful. Everybody. Thank you, John. John Shea. So we're going to take a little break now? We're going to take a little break. We'll move right the cameras now. around. and uh, Yeah. And uh, we'll be back with John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. That's right. Don't yes. go away. We'll be right back. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net.
Hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour, famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's Best Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Okay, we're back. Welcome. Ah, uh, yes. Hi. Ah, uh, yeah. You know Reverend, this guy behind Reverend, me, right? Reverend Joe. That's right. Reverend Dennis. God. That's me. You remember the voice of... <laughs> Reverend Dennis, Reverend Joe. Of the boss, yeah. Yeah. So, uh... You, go ahead. What do you want to say? It's been a little while since gotta, we've had the I group a, on television. I got a cloud in my throat. It's hard to talk. Oh, no. You got, it sounds like you got a block of cement down there. But, uh. I got to say, put him off camera real quick when I'm talking. <laughs> All right, so introduce me, guys. All right, guys, this is uh, John Roper. Uh, we're well, done. That's See me. You. Adios. <laughs> and in the back of John is the Bob Mike Four. Right. <laughs> and we're going to sing for you tonight. Yes, it's been a while since we've had the group on stage. you got uh, Pete Scalero back there. Uh, well, let's, let's introduce the boys. Here's Pete yeah. Scalero. You Pete Scalero it. is the uh, ex-president of the Hair Club for Men. I love it. I love it. I'm, I bet and, it. I an ex-Marine, an ex-detective, and an excellent first tenor. We have Lou Rosetto. He, what, what do you do, Lou? He used what to be our union man. He, oh, he stands He's a union man. He, he's, he makes us. We got a half hour on. We walk off in the middle of the song if, you, if we're not off on time. <laughs> on that end, we got Reverend Joe. He sings uh, second tenor, baritone, bass, if I ask him to. He does anything. I say, Joe, jump. He says, okay. okay. <laughs> no, I won't ask him that. He'll tell me to go to the roof. <laughs> and right here behind me, we have the newest member to the Bob Knight Four, Richard Lanner. Hey, Rich. I sang with Rich how long ago? 20 years ago? 12 years? It seems like so much longer. Anyway. <laughs> it must have been a lot of fun. <laughs> he's, he's new in the group. He's in a group one month today. This is his first personal, uh, professional performance with us. And if he's not good... Oh, boy. Speaking <laughs> about being the first professional, you also have... You have a you have a, a gig on Sunday, right? You'll be in Yeah, it's Jersey. a private, private little oh, uh, is it? club meeting in Jersey, yeah. Uh, so we'll be doing a si yeah. similar songs to tonight. They give us more time. We could do more songs in Jersey than you do. Well, yeah, well, you travel a lot further. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's, and Dennis is the next <laughs> member of Bob Knight Four. We want to bring that to your attention. Yes. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is one of the guys that helped us get started. That's right. Eight years. Eight years with the Bob Knight Four. Yeah. So. So with that, what do you say we let, I let you, because Joe's going to stay here with you. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a walk, and way. you guys. We're going to do some zing. Ladies and gentlemen, John Roper and, and the Bob, Bob Knight, Knight Four. Four. All right. Check one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Wow. Music maestro.
portion of our show will be out in Jersey on Sunday uh, at a special club meeting but right now don't go away we're going to take a, a slight break for a couple of commercials and then Reverend Dennis will be back up and uh, he's going to do his favorite song of the night so don't go away we'll be right back where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash in the detail center. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com.
This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Oh, we're always back. You're back. I'm on back. I'm back. This is my back. That's it. You're fun. <laughs> All right. We're going to do another song, John Rope and Bob Knight 4. We're going to reminisce a little bit because Dennis, Reverend Dennis, is going to up and do the part that he used to do when we did this song. I'm going to do that part. You're going to do that part. I'm going to do my part. His part, as a matter of fact. Well, it's Richie's part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. 
gentlemen. That's the way it went. John Roper and the Bob Knight Four and Richie. The baton is yours, my friend. Come on up here, guys. Comedians and, and everybody. Yeah, John, 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 everybody. Shay. Come on up. Wives, daughters, everybody. Come on up on the stage. Everybody. Don't be camera shy now. All right. Come on, Come on up, Come guys. Up Thank you all for coming on, and being part pool. of our little if family wife, here tonight. Be up here. Come on, come on, ladies, ladies on the stage. All right, there comes. And to Ellen out there, oh, hope you're feeling oh, better, oh, so oh, honey. Ellen, you know you're mama. not here, but you should stand up. Oh, <laughs> all righty, we're all here. Thank you so much for coming and being part right, of our audience tonight, and our studio, and our and our little family. Okay, Janine, get my band up there. I'm on number one. All right. This is the time I get to uh, just give a little honor to God and country. God bless America. with food. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our propers to our first responders, to our police departments and fire departments, to our soldiers who are out there defending our freedom, and for the veterans who've been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the greatest country in the world. Sing it out. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America. See you next week. God bless.